Hi everyone, in this lecture I will teach you how to find products to sell. We will use Helium 10 product research tool in this video. Let's begin and go to the helium10.com and hit the black box Amazon product research tool. Helium 10 is amazing product research tool. You can look at general filters and advanced filters. We will use some of them in this video. First and foremost, we will find the which category we will sell. There are so many categories on Amazon, but some of them are gated and some of them are not gated. How can you know which category are gated, which category not gated? You can learn from the Seller Central. We can go to the Seller Central and look at which categories are gated. Yes, write the gated categories on the search bar. Categories and product requiring approval. These are a list of requiring approval products and categories. Automotive, jewelry, watch, music and DVD, Amazon handmade, sports collectibles, video, DVD, Blu-ray, collectible coins, entertainment collectibles, fine art and service, and streaming media players are gated categories. You can look the requirements of these categories by hit the requirements button. These are these categories requirements. If you want to sell this category, you have to get the requirements and get approval. I will be talking about the gated categories and how can you get approval from the Amazon later. So now skip this. In this product research, let's choose some of the categories that are not gated. For example, baby category are not gated. Arts, crafts and saving category and kitchen and dining. I choose the three categories that we want to sell. I choose the baby category as a non-gated category, but, but some subcategories of baby category, for example, baby feeding category are gated category. You have to get approval from Amazon to sell in baby feeding category. So as our first product, we will search non-gated categories. After selecting three categories, we will choose the monthly revenue, price, review count, review rating, and then advanced filters. Our first goal is finding the gaps in the Amazon. What gaps mean? Gaps means low competition, low review count, and medium or maybe higher revenue. So, for example, over the 10,000 revenue, there are so many competition. For this reason, we will choose the 10,000 as a maximum number of revenue and minimum number of revenue 3,000 and go to the price filter. I don't want to sell higher price products. So I write $40 because you, if you choose over the $40, your beginning costs are very high. And let's go to the review count. Review count is very important and crucial for us. We want to find products that low review quantity and higher revenue. So I'm writing now 60 review count maximum number. And I want to get results of the lower of the 60 review count and getting 3000 to 10,000 revenue. Review rating also important for us because you can learn from the review rating what the products negative and positives. We will read the reviews of our competitors and we will find negatives of the products. We will improve these negativeness and we can get more sales by this way. So you can write 3.7, 3.9 as a maximum number to get results of the review rating of the under 3.9 review rating. But in this research, I don't do this and go to the advanced filters. In the advanced filters, so many filtering options. We will choose one of them and monthly sales that I want is 300 and 500 because I want to sell my products daily 10 or 15 as my first product and then maybe it can be higher and higher and higher. 
but as my first product, my first goal is the low competition and medium revenue. For this reason, I'm choosing 300 and 500. Also, you can write number of images. What's the benefit of these filters? Think about that I'm writing a five maximum number of images. Results come under the five images. That means we can improve the images and number of images, for example, eight or 10 images, we can get more sales by the optimizing the listings. So I want to get results, not optimized listings and getting 300 and 500 sales. You can also write a keyword this part and get results of the specific keywords. We don't do this in this video. We will do the keyword research later. And our filters are done. Let's hit the search button and Killium 10 gets the results of our filters. Okay, results are here. Let's look all of these one by one. Let's look at these product. Unbreakable stackable boats, set of six. This product's price is very good and monthly sales are awesome i think why i'm saying awesome because review rating is 23 this is very important for us this product has low review rating has 23 review and get approximately 500 monthly sales it's very good for us let's look this product deeply i will choose the products first and then look at all of them deeply let's scroll down and look at the other products look at this product this product is parchment paper it's price 1099 monthly sales 400 and review quantity is very good i think this review quantity and these product sales are very good for us let's look at deeply for example this product almost 15 10 9 11 18 approximately day by day 14 and 30 products sell is selling trend is decreasing and look at the 90 days its selling period approximately 12 to 15 it's very good for us let's look at reviews oh almost 300 reviews and 26 reviews amazon cleared the reviews from this product Let's skip this product because it has so many reviews, so it can affect our analysis. Okay, look at these products. Beverage Sitters Craft Sticks. Its price is very good and monthly sales also good. 41 reviews and 6,000 revenue is fit our goals. Let's look at the sales period. Or sales period is decreasing. Firstly, 9 by day, 9, 9 by day, and then 17, 16, averagely 14 daily sales are very good for us. I think this product is very good. You can look at deeply. Let's choose another product. Yes, let's look at the wooden rolling pin for baking. Its monthly sales are good. Sales period is decreasing. So let's keep this. Yes, plastic cups are very good product. Its price 10 and monthly sales 300. Look at the monthly sales deeply. Okay, it's good for us. 10, 11, 7, good for us. It has 31 reeves and get the 3000 revenue. Let's look at deeply. Yes, disposable gold plastic cups are very good products also it's price 20 and monthly sales daily 15 and 17 very good for us also we look at deeply you can look the trends of the products sales trend increasing and price trend decreasing look at price trend this product price doesn't change a lot so you we can look at deeply this product Yes, mini spoons are also a good product idea for us because it's small 
and fulfillment and inventory fee are also very good for us. Let's look at price trend. Price trend doesn't change a lot. Price is product is 12 and look at sales period. Oh, perfect. The sales period is increasing. We will look at this product deeply. Also important point is review rating. The review rating is 3.7. We will improve the negative sides of the product and get more sales. So we will read these products, reviews, and most probably the positive and negative reviews. And we will choose the negative sides and improvements. We will say the supplier to improving. By this way, we can get more sales of this product. Let's look at deeply to this product also. Yes, we choose in this video five products to dive in. In the next lecture, we will dive in these products and calculate the profits margin and look at the competitors. We will do the competition analysis and keyword analysis. So, see you in the next lecture.